Indian government is accused of withholding information from the prosecution. However, the prosecution has admitted they don't even know if the files they're asking for will mean that they have a case and say there's no indication Mr. Kenyatta has had a role in obstructing evidence being collected. Mr. Kenyatta could well leave this court today with the case against him permanently suspended. It would be a huge relief for him personally and for the Kenyan government. But the fact that he's been here in person shows that the ICC is insisting it won't grant impunity to those accused of crimes against humanity, even heads of state. Jack Parrick for SABC News at the ICC in The Hague. The Ebola crisis finally appears to have grabbed the attention of the entire world. Now that the disease has made landfall in the U.S. and Europe, it is seen as a legitimate threat. President Barack Obama said on Monday that his government will develop expanded screening of airline passengers for Ebola, both in the West African countries hit by the disease and the United States. Earlier on, we spoke to Professor Franz Fillion, director at the Center for Human Rights at the University of Pretoria, about these ethical human factors involved in the fight against the Ebola virus. We also spoke to Dr. Colleen O'Carroll from Doctors Across Borders, an organization which aims to treat diseases in other ways than just with conventional medicine. I think we should also, to understand the picture fully, go back to 1976 when <clears throat> Ebola really first showed itself. And that is, it showed itself in um, uh, subtropical, remote African villages in the, what is now the Democratic Republic of Congo and mm. more recently in Guinea and, and Liberia. And, and clearly, uh, since 1976, there has been globally a neglect of uh, taking seriously this disease, developing a vaccine, effective treatments, and um, I think um, we all can look back now and see big pharmaceutical companies, the public spending from developing countries, the, the wealth health organization, all of these entities clearly uh, could have, should have, would have done better if that disease had um, from the outset uh, pronounced itself in, in a clearer sense in the developed world. Meanwhile, teams in charge of burying the bodies of Ebola victims in two districts of Sierra Leone have gone on a strike over the non-payment of their weekly risk allowances. A strike by the burial teams could worsen the outbreak of Ebola in the West African country, which recorded 121 deaths and scores of new infections in one of the single deadliest days last week. The deadly Ebola epidemic in Sierra Leone took a new twist on Tuesday as burial teams went on strike, raising the risk of more cases. The teams in two districts say they haven't been paid weekly risk allowances for at least two weeks, despite the dangers of their work. They are identical with me for two weeks. We will not see no, no 